Hello, guys. Hello. So, um, I think you spent just over six months filming in Liverpool. How was that experience for you? Amazing. Oh, fantastic, yeah. Oh, we loved Liverpool yeah. so much. The crews were incredible, the yeah. people. There's a couple of places I walked into and they were so friendly. I was like, have we met before? Yeah. That, yeah, I love, love, love Liverpool and the Liverpoolians. Our, our Liverpool journey started in Coyote Ugly. Yes, it did. <laughs> and we never looked back, to be honest with you, from that we moment great on. Night. We had a great day. Yeah. And I remember yeah. screaming at one point, I feel like we're in the Costa del Sol. We're <laughs> Gal and Dee in the Costa del Sol. <laughs> Actually, it didn't start in Coyote Ugly. No. That night ended in Coyote yeah, Ugly. That's, that's true. And we didn't realise what's what it was till days, you know, to the next day. And we were like, oh, that's where we were. Yeah, we had a great time. But it was fantastic. And then Sarah and I often would go to Queen's. That was our spot. And that was our that was our spot, yeah. Yeah, we just have gorgeous dinners there. Yeah, in was, fact, we made our, them film there. Yeah. We made them film outside there. And mm -hmm. it was it was our spot first, and then and then actually it became one of the most romantic uh, moments between Gal and Didi. So that was mm -hmm. that was good. You know, your accents are not your typical London accents. How was that process for you and getting to where you were in the in the series? I mean, I couldn't tell. <laughs> watching it yeah. so it, it's more difficult when you're surrounded by scousers yeah for sure yes it was that <laughs> i did find that difficult <laughs> and you yeah. were like trying to cock it and yeah <laughs> yeah our makeup artists were uh from manchester yeah, and yeah. now and again i'd be like oh no oh no it's <laughs> drifting um i worked with a, an incredible voice coach called emma stevens johnson and um i worked together for maybe a month or so before i started shooting and then uh she found, we decided that Dee Dee was from Camden, because I think Amanda Redmayne is from Camden. Um, and we, uh, she found an actress from Camden, so she recorded all my lines for me. So I constantly had the accent in my ears. I just put on my headphones before I take. And so, because it is a very different rhythm to how I speak, um, different speed, um, and vowels are very different. So the stresses are very different. So yeah, um, but you know, I think we're both used to working in different accents. So it's just part of the, yeah, the transformation is. Yeah, I was the same, I worked with a, a dialect coach called Laura Hart and um, she was just, I, I think, you know, especially with Cockney, it's like we, we wanted a more old fashioned Cockney. We want, because the show's quite heightened and we wanted the accents to be, there would be a temptation to play under or play modern London or anything. We didn't want that. We wanted the more romantic, um, heightened ver he version of it. So that's definitely something we lead into. And I think I was so grateful for that dialect coach because there's loads of um, uh, uh, trip hazards because you, it's easy to do a generalised version of that. So what was great about Laura, she kept kept me really specific and um, that was our, our way in. Yeah. So you've gone from uh, your voice to the transformation of yourselves into your characters. So for you, James, getting, your, getting blonde streaks in your hair, mm -hmm. how was that process for you? How many times did you have to have that done? Um, I mean, I think about four times or something over the, over the whole course and uh, Oh yeah, I got a, I got a slagging for that from <laughs> home. But now that now they're all doing it, now everyone's doing it. So I'm like, yeah, you know, and uh, uh, I wish I had them now. No, I didn't. I was it was, yeah, it was and all the all the stuff like the hair and the makeup and the costumes and you know Sam Marshall did the hair and and the tan and um, and Kathy Pryor did the the costumes and they really are. They are like the finishing touches. Once you've done all that, like all the psychological work and the backstory and all that. They're really the thing that elevate it, isn't it? The, the these the, like the the finishing on top, and then it really helps you transform. And their shoes, I think yeah. you just you walk yeah. differently. You, you know, you walk. Although one time my shoes didn't have any grip, and it's really hard to look like a cool gangster when you don't have any grip, and it's raining in Liverpool because you know Liverpool's like Glasgow. Guess what? Rains. So I I one time had to like do the do the gal swagger like, <laughs> like absolute <laughs> clown gal, but um you know. There's some things CGI can't fix. But anyway, it was, you know, it was fine. We just didn't wear those shoes again. Apart from that, brilliant. If you could describe your character in three words, how would you describe them? Um, Didi is uh, ambitious, um, body confident, and, uh, and vulnerable. Gal is a turbo sexy beast. Um, and James, the opening scene that we see in the first episode, you're on the rooftop. 
it had to be that way, didn't it, to yeah. start the series. How was that like filming for you? Yeah. Yeah, well, it was great. It was the hottest day of the year. So I was, they were all, the crew was like <laughs> dying. Iman was in full costume and I was just like absolutely loving it. And um, yeah, it was great. And I, as I say, I think it's a great way to start. And it absolutely sets the um, the mark of respect towards the show and, um, you know, sets up our stall for the fact that we're going to be quite different because there, there are differences in it and in the style and in the tone. So, and even, the, you know, the budget smuggler, smugglers aren't there. The budget smugglers aren't there. Well done. Thanks. Yeah, um, it's now you know when we're in more nineties shorts, which I was against. I wanted the tightest. I wanted to go tighter, but they just said the world's not ready. <laughs> I also think it's just so nice that you get to you're straight into the Gal and Don storyline and their dynamic and how their dynamic is so wildly different from the film. So you know you're going to go on a massive journey with these characters. Did you sit down? Um, or talk about how you wanted to develop your backstory from obviously the cult film to the series or was it very much you just went in and just went with it? Our hands, the writers do that. I mean, we try to give input. <laughs> <laughs> and we do, we did give input and ideas. But um, <clears throat> yeah, the whole arc was kind of out of our hands. Um, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we would like more scenes together, basically. Um, but they, they know that it's tension for the audience. They want to keep us apart as long as possible, yeah. but we were just, come on! Yeah. Let's the very first day we shot together, though, is that first opening sequence where they meet um, in the nightclub. And that was the, f and I, I think that did add an element of, you know, sexual tension and just a, a little bit of magic that we had been, we'd done a little bit of rehearsals together, but because you're meeting them at the beginning of their journey, it was, it, there wasn't much backstory we could plan together, you know, mm -hmm. because we were, you know, we were starting on this journey with the characters, with the audience. Um, so. There was a real charge that day. I think I think it helped that that was the first time the characters meet. It was our first scene together, mm -hmm. and I think I don't know I don't know if I've ever, we've ever spoke about this, but I remember there being a charge. It was the first time Sarah and I together. We knew the journey we were going to go on mm -hmm. together, but also I really understood the scale of the show for the first time. Like mm -hmm. I really. Um, I remember being really impressed by that, you know. Yeah, and, I think the lighting design, yeah. I think the, you know. the How cinematic and theatrical it was. It was really theatrical. You know, and yeah. that really uh, was was exciting to play. I think it was my first day on set as well yeah. for the entire shoot. It was, yeah. So, yeah, that brings an element of like, oh, it's your first day at school. So, mm. um, yeah, I think it definitely helped that opening uh, meeting of the two when they first fall in love. Definitely. And so from that, what was your most memorable scene? that you filmed? Um, all my scenes were gems. Uh, two in particular, I think the scene in the flat um, after yeah. the party, I yeah. loved that scene. I loved shooting that scene. Again, that was early days for us. Yeah. Um, and, and then the scene where they, um, I don't know how many episodes you've watched. All of them? Okay, um, the scene where um, Didi feels like Gal is judging her for the first time and they have a, a fight. That was yeah. yeah. And my favorite scenes are one of them is the same the the um, the scene that you know where we in the flat for the first time mm -hmm. and then there's a scene where where Gal has Gal has to pick Dee Dee up from somewhere. Oh yes. And oh. they end up he gives her, her he gives her his uh, suit jacket and they just have a smoke um, leaning on his his BMW and um, I just loved that scene mm -hmm. so so much. And Which was quite different. We we. We performed it quite differently to how it was written on the page, yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you, what, what we always, you know, you see the joy between them. The show is quite intense and there's a lot of, and actually th these two have to be an escape from that for the audience and for each other, you know. Mm -hmm. So that was, I think that scene captures that uh, perfectly and I really, really, it was really good fun to play. We were at a certain time in the shoot where we were so relaxed with each other that we were, completely free of um, being self-conscious about it, you know, because mm -hmm. when you start, you've got loads of things, is that working, is this working? Mm -hmm. I actually just felt we were we were in the scene together, so it was one of my happiest memories in Sex and Beast and ever. <laughs> what did you first think when you got those scripts? And I don't know, did you had you seen the film before? Some people haven't, but did you had you already seen the film, then you got the scripts? How, how was that process for you? Uh, yeah, um, I saw the film a lot. Um, 
and loved it so much um, and was just really excited that we got to uh, explore these characters and this love story and because I always wondered watching it like how do they meet they're so in love they're so beautiful how do they meet and how do they end up here so um, it was really thrilling it, the idea of, of the concept of, of this um, prequel and then me and James met in our chemistry read well just before it actually in the foyer mm -hmm. and we were immediately um, you know just th we just knew that there was electricity between us and and then we got to read together and it was just like oh this is amazing so yeah I just really wanted to be the DD to James's gal <laughs> it's true ditto to your DD <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Green's DD uh, what was the question again? Um, the scripts <laughs> yeah that's right um, I and had you seen the film I'd seen the film yeah yeah that's right I'd you fostered me here that's just made me all <laughs> yeah, um, uh, yeah. I'd seen the film and loved the film, but um, was really excited about you know being able to reinvent it and do and do something different with it. So it was, and I felt the scripts d did that and they had their own distinct tone and identity. So that was um, that was good. And now that we've seen the finished project, I'm so glad that there is this. It's, it's really fast paced and it's um, you know. It's escape. It's a real escapism yeah. in it, you know. Like it's so good. I'm glad that we're coming out in winter because it's just you know switch off your brain and just <laughs> let it let it wash over you. It's really an adrenaline, a, an adrenaline kick. The series. So, um, with and I, I, that's helped a lot by the the banging '90s soundtrack and the gorgeous Liverpool locations. Yes. What a great way to spend it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. So you. Much, Lauren.